my friend's shop. He's back there. Hold on. There he is. <laughs> That's Josh. We are looking at this. What year is it? So it's an 07 Fusion. It came in, was it a no start? No start. So it was no start. Uh, they ended up selling him a battery and a starter because it wouldn't crank and the battery was dead. They checked it. The starter was bad. And so they needed to d get that installed first in order to see what was wrong with the car, if anything else, after that. So after that was done, uh, we are now going to check and see and we'll show you what the motor is doing and kind of give you a little bit of a crude way of checking something and then we'll verify with the scope. Okay, so obviously here is the old starter and you can tell there's a lot of uh, oil residue. Uh, this engine's not been, uh, looks like it's not been kept up well with maintenance as far as gaskets and whatnot. Also, the coils and plugs were kind of soaked with oil, so they did uh, go ahead and replace the spark plugs, as you can tell, uh, and they are <laughs> pretty wore out. I didn't know they were that wore out. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, man. Okay, so again, probably lack of maintenance here a lot. Uh, we'll get you a shot of the engine. So again, a lot of oil everywhere, but uh, still a no crank, no start, dead battery. Uh, find out starter's bad. Replace it, and now when we go to crank it, this is what it sounds like. So, to, uh, to most probably experienced people, um, we kind of can have an idea or a good guess at, as to what's going on, um, but some others might not and would need to try to go a little bit further. So we were trying to explain this to actually uh, Josh's partner, Steve, what was going on um, as far as why it's sounding or why it's doing what it's doing. Um, Without giving it away, let's show this crude thing that can show you. So we will do the same thing. We'll crank it and see if it sounds any different. Okay, so now... We get continuous extended cranking as, as long as you hold the key, this will crank over. Before, it was kind of uh, stopping itself every so often, and it would just not be continuously cranking. So most of us would know or attribute this to basically a timing problem. Uh, so something must have happened, whether the vehicle died or something while driving or just who knows but we are left with what we got here and again most of us experience would attribute this to a possible timing issue so kind of removing the coils out of the system so no spark would eliminate the fact that that is what's causing the basically that's what's stopping the engine from cranking because it's sparking as the piston is probably at the bottom trying to come up and the explosion or the fire is keeping it from running because the spark should be happening when the piston's at top dead center but since it's out of time the spark when it lights off is stopping the rotation of the engine okay so we are set up with the scope so that we can basically visually show you what's going on uh, we are using their uh, Autel scope, which is just just as good or fine. Uh, we are going to tap into ignition coil 1. We've got all the coils unplugged because we want it to crank over and rotate. And we're going to capture the uh, amperage draw for the starter with a uh, amp clamp. 
to get the uh, relative compression. So that's what we are doing, relative compression with an ignition sink to see when the, the spark is firing in, in relation to the piston position, basically. And so we've got the scope all set up. And we'll go ahead and crank it here. All right, crank. Okay, so that is the capture. Let's go ahead and stop this. And I think we are in the zoom. Okay, so as far as our channels, the green is relative, is the amperage draw. So that's going to be our cylinders. The orange is each time number one ignition strikes. So let's get a good one here. So couple of things to look at and right away some of you can tell um, where ignition one is happening is pretty much at the valley on relative compression when in when an engine is good you want your ignition to strike right at the peak of the cylinders and this one is striking basically right at the valley so that's how we can confirm visually that the timing is off because your ignition is happening either ahead of the peak or delayed from this peak. At this point we don't know, but it really won't matter because we're trying to just verify and get an answer. Um, another thing to note, I'm pretty sure and I believe just the way it sounds and what this looks like is that I, I'm pretty sure we don't have valve damage because we are able to build compression all of them look the same relative to each other in the amperage draw so all pressures should be about the same the only thing is our timing is off making our ignition strike at the wrong time that is why we are getting a hiccup or hesitation when cranking because the uprise is when the piston travels up this ignition is striking when the piston is trying to go up and so it's fighting the piston's rotation upward and it halts the engine. That's why you hear what you hear. So uh, at this time we can stop. Again, we kind of showed a crude way but you won't always be able to do that because we clearly have access to all the coils right now. Um, but in other situations with other engines that are more difficult to access things, this is the way to do it and verify that timing is off. So that's it for this one. Uh, what we kind of came to a conclusion is probably why the vehicle came in the way it did. Looks like the battery died from extended cranking. Also, starter possibly got killed when they were trying to get it started, cranking, running, so on and so forth. So something must have happened that uh, threw out the timing and customer must have just sat there crank 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 and killed both battery and starter so at this point they'll go ahead and get them an estimate to get this repaired um, not sure if they'll fix it but that's uh, pretty much it on this one I uh, hope you learned something and got something out of it with using the scope and that's all for now